Today we are just going to be doing a benchmark test between the iPad Pro 2018 and the OnePlus 6T. We're just going to compare the numbers and see how they correlate when it comes to real world tests. So let's open up some benchmark here and um, let me just unplug this guys and see what kind of numbers we're going to be getting from the brand new iPad Pro here. Um, they keep saying this is the best Bionic chipset you could possibly get. So we're going to open up the specs here just to give you guys an idea what is under the hood of these devices. So right here we do have the Apple A12X Bionic. Um, and then on my right, we got the Snapdragon 845 with 8 gigabyte of RAM. Whereas this one, it's only 3 gigabyte of RAM. So let's just go right at it to the benchmark. And um, see what kind of numbers we're going to be getting from these gadgets so let's go open a tutu okay install let's just install test okay let me just install that one but we could start with this one on my ipad pro 2018 <laughs> So I'm just gonna fast forward this or cut to the final results so you guys can see and not wait for the result. Here is the result. Um, it looks like the iPad Pro pretty much killed the 6T here. Um, we've got 5, 549,887 versus the 298,287. So on benchmark, um, iPad Pro 2018 um, pretty much just dominates any um, tablets or smartphone devices so when it comes to just specifically on benchmark tests. But again, if you saw my other videos um, in real world tests, you saw that the 6T pretty much destroys the iPad Pro 2018 when it comes to opening apps, loading it, and so forth. So let's um, check out some more benchmark here. Um, we're gonna do the a two, two, no the Geekbench mark. So let's clear the background again so that we have a nice clean slate in the back. So we're gonna do Geekbench 4 here. Okay, let me just accept this and we're gonna run it. So let me find it where I go about to run the benchmark on the iPad Pro 2018 here. Looks like there is none to run it. Okay, here we go. So 210. Um, the test result may vary due to the fact that I'm actually doing a back-to-back -back benchmark test here. Um, the devices will definitely get warm, um, result of having low benchmark score, but based on what we're doing right now, um, it looks like um, the single core here 
is still crashing, crushing the 6T and multi-core the same thing so it's just pretty much destroying the 6T guys when it comes to just benchmark tests like again it varies to to um to the test because right now my devices are running hot warm because i'm doing back to back benchmark tests if i did it straight fresh doing the um, geekbench i will probably get a different result guys but um as you can see here the temperature it's up in the 29 we got 31 on the 6t here so they're they're getting warm guys okay so we're gonna do one more benchmark test here we're gonna do the 3d mark bench so let's try to get rid of the background that's running in the background okay and we will press the 3d mark bench Okay, so let me double check if we got the same one here, Slingshot Extreme, and this one is Slingshot Extreme. So it doesn't look like it's got the, okay, right there. So we've got the same one. Okay, I'm just installing the other one on the 6T. And we should be able to run it now. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna turn off the video and I'll turn it back on once everything is completed. All right guys, so I've been waiting here for 20 minutes already. Um, the 6T was done long time ago and it looks like the iPad Pro 2018 here it's just been standby on this um, this um, image here um, and I don't know how long I could uh, wait but uh, it's been there for quite some time now but let's check out the temperature here um, well let's check out the result on the 6T looks like we've got the total overall score is 3,860 and of course the iPad Pro 26, 2018 there's no result yet so I'm not gonna wait for that we're just gonna check the temperature here see where we at right now the iPad Pro we are at 32 33 degrees Celsius 35 30 seven as you can see it's uh, starting to heat up now okay and of course the 60 is 32.7 33.3 okay so i'm just gonna exit out here i'm just gonna exit out um looks like that thing's not working but anyway so let's just do a little quick opening test here just to show you um, that the 60 is much quicker than the iPad Pro 2018 um, we cannot really rely on on the benchmark score because it's just a false number guys real world test is the one that you want to consider um, looking at but here we go we'll open a Facebook app so they're pretty much identical there it looks like the 60 was a little bit faster but very close okay youtube okay 60 google okay we could do settings. Uh, Netflix. Did we download Netflix on this one? No, not, none. 
Uh, we could do Spotify. Okay. Let's do a couple more. I think that I deleted some more stuff here. Um, what else do we have? Twitter. So 60, as you can see, very quick. Instagram. So there you go, guys. So there you go. You guys are pretty much the witness of this benchmark test versus real world test. Um, benchmark, you cannot rely it, guys. You can't rely on it. It's just a number. Um, real world test is the one that you really want to consider looking at. That is the real test, real life. So just want to do this test um, just to show you guys benchmark versus real world test that the 6T is pretty much the device to beat for on 29 for 2019. So that's pretty much it guys. Once again, thank you for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.